shortly. Money Basics Hi everyone, it's Christina from Smartly, and I'm so glad you're on board for this second video in my three-part mini-class examining the time value of money. Let's charge ahead and look at the second reason that a dollar today is worth more than a dollar in the future. Earning Potential If you open your wallet and take out a dollar, it may seem limp, small, or ineffective. But in fact, that dollar is packed with potential. I've got potential! Because of what you could do with it. You could invest that dollar in the stock market, buying ownership in corporations, which are increasing in value and paying dividends to their owners. Sounds good! You could also purchase raw materials that can be combined and transformed into something that could be sold for so much more than your original investment. Think about what Luke Toyman spends on paint and canvas versus the sale price of his paintings. That's quite a return. Or, you could invest in a piece of equipment, allowing you to offer a service that would create regular income. A dollar today can be used to make money, a lot more money than is drained away by inflation. The value of a dollar today comes not only from having a dollar, but from having time to do something with it. With that logic, if you flip it around, you can see that getting a dollar in the future deprives you of the ability to make the money you would have made with a dollar today. The time value of money essentially recognizes a quantifiable monetary value to time. No one can predict the future, but if you want to get an idea of what time has in store for your investments, the future value equation is the best place to start. Writing it out, you can see how the present value of your money, otherwise known as the principal, the interest rate, which is the average annual amount you'll make on your money, and the amount of time you hold the investment for, interact. For example, if you have $100 and you're able to invest it with an average annual increase of 7%, after 10 years you'll have 200 bucks. You can think of present value, interest, and time as three independent levers you can pull to change the outcome of your investment. Keeping time and interest rate constant, you can see that changing the present value will have a linear effect on your results. Increasing the interest will begin to curve the line of your results graph upward, gaining momentum for your investments. And just by increasing the time your principal is invested, you'll supercharge your results and give the biggest boost to your future value. Bottom line, more time equals more money. Why is this useful? Now, equipped with an understanding of inflation and earning potential, you can easily assess the opportunity costs of your decisions. For example, if you have a chunk of money lying around and a friend asks, can I borrow that? I'll pay you back in two years. You may trust your friend to get the money back to you, but you'll be handing over not just your cash, but two years of potential earnings. And your money will come back to you devalued by inflation. As an alternative, you could use that money to buy yourself a pizza delivery drone, giving you a new stream of income and a valuable piece of equipment you could later sell. Which sounds like the better move now? If this still seems like you're making an apples to oranges comparison, don't worry. There's a simple trick to add numbers to your options so you can easily weigh the opportunity cost of every financial decision. And I'll show you how to do that in the last video. Smartly, art plus personal finance. Sign up for updates at www.sm-artly.com.